Hi everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Vintage Cottage and I am going to make some snippets. Um, this morning I spent the whole morning going through my crochet shelf um, trying to find what I'm going to um, offer for sale this coming weekend so stay tuned for crochet. Um, <clears throat> and these are some pieces that I was about to throw away because some of them have some stains they're like extras left over from from um, some bundles that I was putting together and I was about to throw them away and the little frugal, frugal crafter in me in the back of my mind kept saying no no don't throw me away use me use me so I decided I'm going to use these as the base for some snippets. Um, so I have stuff all around me here. I have this bin that has, um, this is what I use to make my snippet rolls. Um, so I have that. I have my other drawer from, um, for my, these are all more snippets of things. Look at this fabric. I just bought some of this fabric recently. It is gorgeous. This is just little remnants. I have some, some larger pieces on my shelf. I love it. Um, I have also a box of fabric, small fabric scraps. I have my box of small little flower embellishments and a, a few more um, beside me that are more like wedding dress related. Um, these are from a wedding dress I just recently cut up. And then I have my buttons. My lighter buttons and my darker buttons. So those are the things that are all around me that I'm going to be pulling from to make these snippets. And um, someone suggested that I sell some snippets. So uh, these might be for sale. If anybody's interested, I'd, I'd like to know. I'm just gonna, these, I wonder if I can tear this. Let me see. I, I doubt it, but because I love the torn, torn look is great on fabric, but crochet doesn't tear very well. Okay, so much for that idea. Um, these can be used for I'm going to work on several at, at one time. Get some smaller ones. These can be used for tabs on journals or just, just purely decoration on an empty page. It just adds uh, a little bit of interest. Well, let's, let's stop there for now. I, have, I can make plenty more. So there's the base and I'm just going to build on it um, from there. I'm going to pull from, let me just pull a pile from my snippet box and just kind of layer, layer things up. No rhyme or reason, just put them down there. Um, let me come down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Let me stay in, try to stay in frame. Um, let's see, there's a piece of eyelet lace. And I go from larger to smaller. Let's see if I can find some, some bigger, bigger pieces in here. There's some fillet lace. And there's another piece of fillet lace. Try to alternate colors as well. Those are too neutral together. So I'll put a little piece of ecru lace on it. And let's see. There's another another piece there. So I'm just going to continue layering. How about some fabric? What about some fabric on a couple of these? Oh, 
There goes the dog. She must hear the neighbors doing something. What else is in here? There's a little piece of a doily. So these come together pretty quickly. I'll reach into my other box here. That's that's pretty. Let's use a piece of that somewhere. That one's small. This one's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to angle it so it's kind of coming off the edges a little bit. Um, this one needs something a little bit lighter. just a piece of was some kind some kind of lace let's put that one there and oh, I'm dumping stuff all over the floor this is kind of interesting not sure what that was some kind of vintage trim and let's see, where am I going to put this one? I'm about over there. Now to finish these off, I'm going to put, I'm going to start reaching towards the, my little flower embellishments and my buttons. This is a nice big one. I don't want it right in the middle. I'm going to bring it off to the side a little bit. And this one needs something probably darker. Put that one there. This one needs something a little bit darker as well. Oh, how about maroon? And what about a wedding dress? I don't like that fabric. I changed my mind. I don't want that fabric. Let's see what else we can come up with. Oh, here's a very tatty looking piece. Tattered is good. All kinds of strings coming off of it. And then... I'm going to put something a little bit bigger. Mm. I was going to put a, the wedding dress. Yeah, I think I'll do that with the sequins and the, and the pearl. I had another one in here with sequins and a little, little tiny bead. Like that. Let's put a Let's put a button on this one. Let's see what we got. Let's go yeah, something a little bit darker. That's too big. Not really too big, but it's too thick. There we go. I like that one. Um, this. I'm going to move that to the side and put a button here. Let's keep this one neutral. Oops. I need a bigger button box. This one has a shank. Oh, that's pretty. But it's too, too thick. How about this one? Kind of like that too. Um, 
Do I want one here? How about one? How about one right on top of that flower? A little one. Let me see if I can find a small one that would fit. Perfect. Okay. Um, I have that fabric on this one too, and I and I don't like it. So I'm going to take that one out and see what else I can find. What else can I put there? How about just some some more lace up under there? Okay, I like that better. And this one, it has the kind of um, thread flower, a button, and I want a third thing on here. How about something small? No, I want a small button. A small mother of pearl button. Yeah. I like that. Alright, let's see. So, what I'm going to do, I've got seven made. I'm going to make a bunch more, but you get the gist of what they will look like. Um, I'm going to be, I'm going to take these over to my sewing machine and just kind of stitch across them and then sew on, hand sew on the buttons so that the thread, so that the thread shows. Um, those that have something that I don't want my machine to go through, I'll take that off, stitch, probably just zigzag across, and then um, glue the glue or stitch the embellishments on the top of it. So that's just a quick quick show of how I make my snippet, my little snippets. Um, I will be making more of these and if I get any kind of response down below in the comments that you know any of you are interested in them I will um, this coming weekend is going to be all crochet uh, and I'm going to have some colored. Uh, I've been dyeing some crochet today so I'll have some colored crochet trims and some bundles and some um, some clearance trims, uh, crochet trims that I've had in the past and I'm going to be selling them at a, I have some left and they'll be sold at a discount. Um, probably the weekend after I might be doing more journal embellishment kind of things like the flower fairy journal cards or the some snippets or, and some other journal related things. So that's what I have coming up. Um, I hope you uh, found some in inspiration in, in the snippets and how I put them together. Um, but that's all I have for today. Bye for now.